Hello YouTube, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another video and today we're going to take a look at, this is going to be an odd one, we're going to take a look at this little collection of micro machines. Um, I could tell a long story about how I have this but uh, we're just not going to get into it right now. Either way, I've got this thing, I'm going to be selling it, I'm not going to keep this in my collection and uh, we're going to take a look and see what's in this case. I don't collect micro machines, but uh, I just thought it'd be kind of interesting to show uh, this collection. I haven't even actually gone through these and looked at them all, uh, so I just thought it'd be interesting, and I thought I'd film a little video of it and share it with you guys. There might be some micro machine collectors out there. I do not know. I think they're all legit micro machines. I know there was a bunch of knockoffs that were made back in that time, but I believe Galoob was the original maker of micro machines and this one does say copyright date 1986 so I think that's probably when they would have started um, these little choking hazards so starting out with the Trans Am that's pretty sweet little bandit Trans Am there's actually quite a bit of detail on these little cars uh, which is interesting so you you do get headlights and like taillights and stuff they're like full deco they're plastic body um, they do have a metal base, so they got a little bit of weight to them. One little rivet there holding it together, it looks like. So there it is. There's your Trans Am. Just kind of go through these one by one. Just take a peek. There's quite a few of them here. This next one's a little van ambulance. It's pretty cool. It's got a little trailer trailer hitch thing back there interesting little thing uh, let's see here the next one uh, what is this one it's a little funny car thunder does it open Oh, it does. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Check out that guy. Sweet little funny car. And then we got a um, Corvette. little tiny Corvette. Um, I don't know what scale micro machines would be considered either. They're kind of interesting. Little cars. A little Corvette. We got a Camaro. Convertible. I am not entirely sure if they were licensed models. I assume they were. I really don't know anything about them. I just thought you know, it'd be fun to kind of show them off. Um, ooh, look at this one. We get a Mustang here. Fox Body Mustang. Uh, this one appears to be pretty interesting because it's got some. Look at the opening parts. It's got an opening back hatch. It's got an opening hood with a motor in it. It's got opening doors. Um, that's pretty impressive on this tiny, tiny, tiny scale to have these opening parts. Not a lot of gap in there either. Um, yep, this is a legit one, so it is glue, but these ones have... Is that metal still? Uh, it's got to be a plastic base. Yep, plastic base. So these opening parts ones have uh, plastic bases. It's kind of a cool one, though. Mustang. Uh, let's see, this looks like a CUDA police car. It's an interesting little car, a little micro machine. And let's see here, ooh, we got another one with opening parts. Look at this. Is this a 
four. What is this? Is this a T bird? Or is this a Trans Am? Or is it a Camaro? Oh, I think it's a Camaro, actually. Maybe. I don't know. This one's got an opening trunk. It's got an opening hood. I think it's a Camaro. I don't know. Opening doors. That's crazy. Plastic base. I don't know if that's supposed to be a Firebird or if that's supposed to be a trans or I mean I think it's a Camaro actually. Anyway, kind of cool. And then uh, a Cobra. This one also appears to have some opening features. Yeah, trunk. Hood that it's very difficult to open. It's doors. It's supposed to open backwards. Well, oh, whatever. We're just going to leave it. Pretty cool looking little car. And what else we got here? Look at this thing. Little tea bucket. With opening doors. Plastic base. Lots of detail on this one. Definitely a cool little model. Uh, what's this guy? This one also has opening doors and a rumble seat, I think, back here. Yep. Look at that. And an opening hood. Uh, I don't know what type of car this is off the top of my head. I'm not really well versed in old, old cars. But an interesting one nonetheless. And then this one's a Camaro. Z28. Kind of nifty. Then I think this one is a Thunderbird. So, obviously these aren't like proportion great, but they're super tiny, so little tiny toys, so it's kind of forgiving. Uh, Micro Machines were pretty hot when they came out. A lot of people liked them. Here's a 57 Chevy. I remember having a few of them when I was a kid, but I remember my little brother um, putting them down the drain in the sink, in the bathroom sink, and clogging it up. Cool. Here's that with a blown motor. Is this a Dodge Daytona? This next one, I think this is a Daytona. This one's in not the greatest shape. And I apologize for some of these cars I can't really identify. I'm just going here. You can't. There's no. Doesn't tell you what kind of car it is on the bottom. I think this one's a Jaguar, maybe. Not really sure. Oh, wait. Is this a Dodge? That guy. Corvette. Here's a cool one. So you got this Corvette. 
GTO. Kind of cool. A fire rescue truck. Is this a Dodge? What is this one? Is it Camaro? Or is it? I don't know. It's so hard to tell on these like little small scales. I think that one's supposed to be a Camaro. So they're not perfect by any means, or even close. And then this is a. It's got to be a Camaro, right? It's 69, I think. Then this is a Mustang. And here's a 57 Chev with a blown motor. Kind of keep it moving here. Oh, then we got a Camaro next, I think, with a blown motor. And I think this is another Camaro here. I think that's supposed to be a 69 Camaro with a gigantic motor. Kind of a weird one. And let's see here, Corvette. Ooh, there's a cool one. <laughs> a little dusty. A Porsche. A little itty bitty Porsche. Cadillac. What is this? Kind of a cool caddy. Uh, what is this car? I want to say that's like a Thunderbird 2 or T-Bird. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And then here's a Mustang. Another Corvette. A little chubby thing. And let me get a tow truck. A dump truck. And I think this is it. We got this little Corvette. Little 80s Corvette. So kind of cool. I don't know. Um, they're weird. I, I definitely it's not something I would be into collecting ever. Um, but they are kind of neat. And I remember kind of digging them when I was a little kid, thinking they were cool because they were so small. So I think my, f if I had to pick a favorite one, it's probably this funny car, actually. It's either that or the Bandit Trans Am, but this thing's pretty cool. Opening part. That's pretty awesome. And other than that, this Trans Am, I think the first one we looked at, oh, or the Porsche. The Porsche is pretty cool, too. Anyway, let me know what you think about Micro Machines. you collect them? Did you collect them when you were a kid? Um, and I had a few. I didn't really collect them too much when I was a kid, but I thought they were kind of cool. But they were crazy, 
collectible when uh, in, in the, I guess probably the late 80s so yeah let me know what you think I just wanted to share this quick little video with you guys thank you guys very much for watching and have a good day